One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm in the state capital of Helena. And basically, um, actually they're putting the state surplus is getting coming in with new auction stuff coming in here. And I'm actually going to pick up stuff at an equipment auction. As you can see, Vlad is running out there as fast as he can to go to the playground. Vlad, where do you want to go? The playground. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, going to be picking up all kinds of stuff. We got nine cars on the roster today that I bought. And me and Rich brought the trailer. We brought to Katrina. And we are going to pick this stuff up. I don't really know what runs. I bought a fire truck. I bought a Unimog. Bought some cool stuff. Ought to be an interesting video. Might make a couple videos out of this. I don't know. But nine cars. Got to take them about 200 miles. So it could be interesting. Here we go. All right. Here we are. They got all kinds of stuff out here, man. I guess we're going to pull over to the right and kind of hook it in because most of what we bought, well, all we bought is cars pretty much this time. So, cool. Okay, we was going to buy the dump truck, but we didn't. We bought the fire truck. It is a lot of truck. Javelin by Pierce. Wow, dude. Yeah, buddy. All the breathing apparatuses. Now I'll tell you what else. Look at this rubber. It's got apparatus there too. Yeah. There's all kinds of hoses up here. Got all controls. We'll do a close-up of this. Batteries everywhere. Up here. I got hose. A 30 385 64. Wait up. 65, 225, 225. Five inch hose right there, baby. Four and a half. Is it four and a half? Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, we got the. Oh, man, dude, that's cool. Dude, we're going to have some fun with this. <laughs> we're going to have. At some point, something's going to happen. <laughs> we, we bit on this, but I didn't buy it. So. We, we need a YouTube video watching a car with that. <laughs> We'll do the PT Cruiser. Just blow the window right out of it. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got the bread truck. Uh, I was going to buy this here. What happened is I bought nine cars. And I didn't plan on buying nine cars. Actually, I would have bought this fire truck too. It doesn't. This thing's a 1978. And nice, brand new rubber. Brand new rubber. Come here! Come here! A lot of things you got left. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come here, come here. Sorry. So we got the bread truck. Yeah. Say hi to everybody, Vlad. Hi. Yeah, see the camera. Look at the camera. There you go. You want to look at the bread truck? Oh, They're brand spanking. Oh, yeah. The back ones are new too. Yeah, they are. Holy cow. They, got, they still got the barcodes, they even rotted off. Okay. Dude, this thing will polish too. Oh, yeah. I think it will. Oh, it will. Nice. Wow. Got a power inverter. This is a house. But look at what it's got. I mean, dude, it's a straight up RV. With a skylight. You could live here. Yeah. You could do um dude, run away and do like no. um, dude, you park this you park this in Missoula on the street for a month before they tell you to move. You I know what I mean? I believe the miles. I kinda of believe the miles. Dude, look at the seat. I was, I was looking at that. That's dude, that's not original. I was thinking it might not be, it looks like a crocodile. Well it's forty five years old. That's good because that's what we're taking. So we're gonna drive, we're gonna drive this monster home. And um, I'm gonna go get my checkbook and go talk to these guys. Um, these are good guys, they help us out all the time. Actually got them a Mora knife. And yeah, talk to you in a minute. You wanna look at the fire truck? This is your fire truck. We're partners, you bought it with me. We used your payroll. You're a, you're a one-sixth partner. Me? 
You, you're a partner in it. Vlad owns a water truck. What do you think of that? You're a fireman. Uh oh, you gonna use the scanner? No, I going to call, call somebody. You gonna call somebody? Yeah. Are you making trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Lily, call him you're again. in trouble. Call him again. Hey, are you with fire? <laughs> Good job. Real gold leaf lettering. I know. That's how I do that. We we're at the bread truck. I guess I didn't go far enough. I bought the Unimog. There's a story behind it. Front and rear PTO. I know, it's cool, huh? I'm not going to tell the story now. I'll tell it when it's back at the place. Interesting deal. Now, see, the frame's not bent or nothing. These pieces that come off the side. I have yeah. to fabricate something for Gas tank but and air tank. It's straight, man. It's a straight frame. Just some air stuff. Like this air thing's broke. Yeah. That's easy stuff. It's missing the shocks. What the air for? The brakes. It's got air brakes. Well, it's got air tank for something, I guess I should say. But look at the PTO goes to here. Yeah. The line goes missing to here. It goes here. To here. To here. Yeah. So this thing gets What's moved this over. for, though? Uh, there's like a big... Look at There's some kind of an arm that can get mounted up. Leakage probably I think so, here. Dude. Another axle. It's for oh, another set of springs double. like this. Yeah. It's another torsion spring, dude. Oh, yeah. It's for another axle. Dude, look at the tires. Look, look at this. Look at this. I know. He never even been rolled. Look at that. Look, look at that. He's never even been on the road afterwards. Pretty cool. Well, that's that. Rich is going to start up the red truck. And then we're going to go see what starts and what don't. Hey. Oh, yeah. What an idea. There's a novel idea. Is there a latch over here somewhere you see? It feels like one. Right here. Oh, interesting. Dude, look at that. That's clean those small oh, block shit. Dude, that thing's clean looking. Alright, where's Two interstates? That? Oh, it's dual it's dual battery stuff. Huh. Sarah, oh, Sarah. Oh right here. There you go. Just uh, just check that out. Okay. Okay. There it is. That's it. Uh I'll start. Go for it. Let's hope. Wow. Still got the caps. Front and back. She's a cold heart. Nice. Nice truck. Okay. Back to turn the fire truck off. And then we'll go check out some other cars. Okay, here we go. So. Don't laugh at this one. It's a little quad four. Most of the paint's gone off this side. Bees all over. All over. There's a Betsy, there's a... a wasp mess up in there. Okay, now you can laugh. We couldn't find the dipstick. We don't think there is one. So... <laughs> I'm just trying to fire it up anyways. That's about all I can do at this point. We need a jump box. Dead? Dead. We'll get a jump box. We'll look at this. This definitely ain't driving back. It's got rotten tires. So I picked up this here Chevy, or Chevy, Dodge truck. Got bad tires. I don't know if they'll hold air to even drag it on a trailer or not. I kind of hoped they would, but they look pretty tore up. So that's wonderful. Something else to deal with. And it might be factory wheels. Kind of cool. It's cleanish. It's got a hundred thousand on it. You go check it all out, right? Cause I'm ready to start this stuff. Let's see what this bad boy does. Dead. 
Like Rich said, the AC and everything is all hooked up. All hooked up. Belts. Condenser's all hooked up. This could have cold AC. I just said a while. Where's Vlad? Where's Vlad? Oh, he's right here. What do you think, bud? Sounds good. Sounds great. No, it's the only one that doesn't have a flat, though. Turn the AC on, see if it's compressed. Yeah, like Rich said, the AC is. Compressor kicked on, he says. Wow. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, Rich is gonna try and crank up our Cutlass Quad 4. Crank that to on to the left. 12 volts to the left. Okay, so 24 volts the other way, baby. Wow. That's your typical quad four. Everybody stand around wondering if the feeds are still start. Tell you what, it might be a 400 small block. This is a big small block. You use a couple of quarts. Aluminum radiator. It's pretty clean. Yeah. Clean on the inside there. Look at that. Headers. Cab corners. This thing's clean. Wow. It's solid, dude. It's not rusted out. No. Not at all. And I'm wondering. Um, looks like it's leaking a little gas right here. Let's we'll see how it goes. Okay. We'll try it without a try it without one first. Back in the days when you could start them without pushing the clutch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And here's the Fury 3 with the Fury 3 plates, actually. We're going to see if it starts here. Did you check the oil? No. Got a little bit of rust there. The back quarters above the wheel. Well. Same thing on that side there. And that is clean. I think it's original paint even. Back window shattered. I don't know if I'm going to take this back today. Where do we take that Ford or Dodge truck? Yeah, I know. Old school Dodge. Janky. Got the rods up there. Okay, we're gonna try and start this. Okay, the ignition's knocked down under the dash. So Rich is gonna give it a shot. It's got battery, it's got juice. Freaking Dodge. the Cordoba over there too. We'll take a look at that and that um, gray truck. Okay, inside the Ford pickup. That's nice. Wow, 
that's smooth. I believe it's got 76 on it. It could have more. But this truck just purrs like a kitten. I believe this truck was towed around by the road department with a snow plow or something. Straight six. So it's been a really nice. Ain't no rust in the quarters. Ain't no rust in the cab corners. Ain't no rust anywhere around this truck. Except they had something happen back here and did a little work on it. A little bondo in that back. Must have smacked it at some point. But it looked straight before it started dilapidating. Okay. So we got this. Let's do some checking now. Thinking. Next one is the Chrysler Cordoba. I almost guarantee there's a hood pop on the Cordoba. So I'm going to go back and get the hood pop. Now this thing is super clean. Got a little bit of patina on the roof. Besides that tear right there, these seats are primo. Um, I know there's a hood latch. Let me get that. What? That's an odd one. Cordoba? Cordoba. Oh, the original ambulance. Oh, the original ambulance. The original ambulance. The oil is right to the top of the floor, Mark. Beautiful. Pretty clean. AC. Huh. That's a tire's on this thing. That's a tire's on this thing. You drive this thing, you're rolling. I got a battery. It's a tiny chair, huh? It's a tiny chair. Okay, so he's hooking the... Look at that, it's beautiful. I'll bet you she runs good, dude. Dodge 318. Maybe not. Plugs and wires. Huh? Get some plugs and wires. Hang on. That's perfect. She could take this. We'll take the other ones. You gonna ride with mom or are you gonna ride with dad? Huh? Here's my question. Are you serious? You can't drive a Can you drive a stick? I'm riding with you. No, you take this. It's fine. It's just loud. Well, you didn't even ride it around to just to check. It'll be fine. No, I'm kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. This one I was thinking. I don't think. Vladimir. Pull the rope. Pull the rope. Pull the rope. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it. No more of that. Okay, so that's pretty much the pickup for the day. I don't know if we're to take the bread truck or what. Got this here fire truck. I don't know if we're gonna take the bread truck or this truck. Rich can drive a four by, I mean a four speed. Katrina can't. So they went and tested, tested out the bread truck, hoping Katrina will feel comfortable driving that. And I think he actually talked her into driving it back. He sure did. That's my baby. She's like redneck Filipino, driving a bread truck, delivering the bread. Look who's driving, is that mom? That's mom, huh? Wow. Mom's driving a semi. She don't look like she's enjoying it too much. You want to say hi to mom? Say hi to mom. Wow, mom's a semi driver. She didn't like that. She didn't. All right, so here we go. 1976 Grumman hitting on the road. Got that loaded up. Yeah, I know. He's got a gear vendors in it too. I forgot about. I forgot about that. I was so stoked about it. I forgot. Absolutely beautiful day, about 44 miles from Helena, almost up to the junction here. And we've already went through the pass, and Rich said he was going up the pass at 44 miles an hour with the gear vendors overdrive. He's got low RPMs, like 2400 RPMs, just clicking away. And we ain't seen him yet. And I hope I don't see him. I hope he just goes to his hotel and all's good. Drop the phone there. I didn't know about that guy. 
I hope he just shows up in Missoula's hotel and all's good. Because if we see him, it means there's probably a problem. Okay, we'll talk to you. I'll clip more in somewhere.